Hello, gorgeous, beautiful stars. <laughs> Paris Star Channel here with a new and possibly a very exciting episode because guys, guys, I mean, guys, all what I can see in here is called Elf. <laughs> I guess everyone knows a super affordable brand called Elf Cosmetics. E, e like eyes. L like lips, F like face, Elf Cosmetics. They are over here, most viral products and most importantly, the newest products, the newest launches in a form of the super new and hot 10 eyeshadows, 10 and 10 for 10 euros. I mean, can it be true? And the quality and everything, we're going to test it out. And then in a form of the liquid glitter eyeshadow we're going to test the quality of that and then in the form of the cream eyeshadow we're going to test that as well and then we're going to revisit and talk a little bit about the halo glow liquid filter i have three shades now so we're going to swatch it and see it and now there has been a new launch with liquid poreless putty primer so we're going to compare it with a classic and we have new sunscreens and a little bit old sunscreen and a new sunscreen. One is glowy, one is uh, matte. The sunscreens that are not that are not only supposed to protect our skins, but it's supposed to be like a primer for the makeup. We are going to put this all to the test. A drugstore test from Elf Cosmetics. So yes, guys, if this is something that interests you, please tune in to my channel to the party where we celebrate diversity. Diversity makes us all different, gorgeous and beautiful. So yes, guys, let's start today's episode. Today's episode is all about the Elf Cosmetics. <laughs> And so guys, here we are back, ready to play with makeup, ready to test it out. And I must say that I admire Elf. Uh, Elf Cosmetic is that type of, uh, of type of a brand for me that just amazes me. Why? Because um, I don't know how do they make money. <laughs> I mean, these products, they're so affordable that it's just mind blowing. I, I just don't know how do they make money when everything is just so affordable in such a difficult times. I must say the difficult times has arrived for me as well. I do not have that amount of money for the luxurious products that I can spend um, that I had for example, in comparison back in the past, but it's fine because the drugstore products got you covered. So what do we have? We have uh, things for eyes, we have things for lips, and we have things for face, and we're going to test it out. So the first thing what I would like to do, I would like to do an eye makeup. So the products that I'm going to use it, I'm going to show you this right away. The first would be the 10 eyeshadows palette, guys, one of each one of them is like 10 euros. I mean, 10 euros for 10 eyeshadows. How do they make money out of it? I have no idea. The first palette that I would like to talk about is this one, guys. And this palette is called So, I don't know if you can see it, So Bright Now. This is how the product looks like. And as I said, 10 euros for 10 eyeshadows. It is incredible. I definitely got attracted by this palette because it is very, very lovely, very colorful. And this is something that attracts me. Um, I do like nudes and the nude eyeshadows. But hey, when you open this, then you have these eyeshadows. And look at this. How beautiful and colorful, some mattes, some sparkles, some shiny things, absolutely incredible. I am super curious to see how this palette is going to perform on my eyelids. The other palettes, another one from this series is this one, another 10 eyeshadows. And this one is called, I don't know if you can see it, Intergalactic. This is how the product looks like. And once again, this one is a little bit 
different. I mean, the previous one was definitely very colorful, very, very, <laughs> makes me happy just by looking at them, while this one is a little bit different. It gives me a little bit of a mermaid vibes, guys, and then you have some nudes in here, which means it's already cool, which means you can make a nude eye or you can make a colorful eye. The choice is yours. We're going to test it out. So, the two eyeshadow palettes are over here, ready to be tested. Um, with that, I would like to try um, a liquid glitter eyeshadow formula. And I have a one uh, shade from here, so we'll, we'll just have a look. We're going to try it out. And mine is in the shade, I don't know if you can see it, Mermaid Shimmy. This is how the product looks like. And well, I would definitely today I'm trying to explore formulas. The, the matte eyeshadows, the sparkly eyeshadows, the liquid eyeshadows in the form of this eyeshadow. So we're going to see it. And then another eyeshadow that I would like to try it out is the cream eyeshadow. And they have plenty of them as well. And it's this one. As you can see, it's white. So I do have some ideas about the eye look that I'm going to go for, but we'll see how, how how am I going to execute that. Anyway, this is No Budge Cream Eyeshadow and mine is in the shade Wispy Cloud. This is how the product looks like. And guys, um, I suppose the, the cream eyeshadows that is white, it might create a very interesting base for the pastel and colorful um, eyeshadows. We're going to see how it is going to work. Um, so yeah, guys, um, allow me to approach now and let's just, let's just go with a flow and see what is going to happen from that, okay? So first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this colorful uh, eyeshadow palette, which is called So Bright Now. And I'm going to start doing something. I do have some vision, but, you know, by all means, I am not an expert. I'm just an ordinary buyer. Imagine I go to the shop, I buy things, I try things, and then we'll see how it is going to look like. What I'm going to do now, I am going to take the... Do I have... Good eyelids, not very oily, checking it out, good, <laughs> good eyelids, do I have good eyelids, I don't know, <laughs> I'm going to take the fluffy brush and I'm going to take this blue right over here and I'm going to try to apply it, good. Good. And I will try to apply it from the inner part to the outside part. Just like so. Although I think this is not a good brush. I need to have a more precise brush for that task. Good. Something is happening right over here. Wonderful. All right. Something is happening. Right now, I'm going to take another brush and I'm going to dig into that green right over here. See? It is powdery. Good, good, good. No problem. No problem, no problem. And then I'm going to try to apply it in the middle part, right over here. Good. I guess we can see some blend when the blue connects with the green. But, you know, um, what I see about these eyeshadows, they definitely appear, but you need to add. You need to add more. It's not that type of a pigmentation when boom, and it's, and it's done. At the same time, I don't really mind because um, it is a goof-proof um, eyeshadow, which for me, it is actually very cool. 
I prefer to add instead of have too much and then worry what I'm going to do with this, <laughs> you know? Then I'm going to take another um, brush, like this one, and now from this eyeshadow palette, I'm going to take this green, the darkest green, and try to apply this in the outer corner of my eyelid, like here. I guess we do go a little bit unintentionally, maybe unintentionally, with a, with a mermaid look. I wonder how it is going to, to go in the end. Okay, so when it comes to the pigmentation, it is definitely not mind-blowing, but it is building up and something is definitely happening right over here. But hey, I mean... We're talking about the 10 euro eyeshadow. So what did you, what, you know, the, I don't really have big expectation. Nonetheless, as you can see, I can definitely work with this eyeshadows. It looks cute. It looks cute. I wish the blue would be a little bit brighter, you know. Good. I think something is happening. I think something is happening. And it looks like now, like that. Funny. Funny. It looks funny. Um, I need a little bit more here. I can see. Because as you can see, my eyes are very difficult for a makeup because they're very deeply socketed. So most of the blending actually happens on my bone. What can I say? What can I say? Good, a little bit of that brighten. Nice, nice, very nice, like that. Okay guys, so far so good. Three eyeshadows m uh, blended together. This is how it looks like. And right now what I want to do actually, I want to jump into this cream uh, eyeshadow, no budge. And let's have a look at that. So yeah, this is how it looks like. It is in a pot. I think this is plastic. And what I am going to do, I'm going to take the brush, a flat brush, like this one, and let's open the, the pot. And there it is, the cream eyeshadow. And I'm going to do something like a cut crease, but not a real cut crease because this is not my intention. I'm just very curious how this eyeshadow is going to bind with the eyeshadows that I already put on my lid. The cream eyeshadow is definitely resisting because I am la layering this on the uh, on the powders, so it's definitely resistible. But it's happening. We can definitely apply that. I'm going to take my finger to blend it. And it's drying actually. It's drying quite quite quickly. I need a little bit more. Cool. Fine, fine, fine. And now what I am going to do again, I'm going to try to blend it with my finger. I like this formulation so far, the cream eyeshadow, because it is self-setting and drying. Very cool. I'm going to close the pot. So it looks like now, yes, it is definitely drying formula. And now what I am actually going to do is, <laughs> I have a little bit of a dilemma. <laughs> I do have a little bit of a dilemma because, well, 
from this palette, which is called Intergalactic, I can take this white and set it and put maybe a little bit of a gold. This is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it like that. Um, because I'm ahead of myself a little bit. And guys, they also have some tools. And one of the tools I wanted to try it out, it's the eye brushes, as you can see. And this is one of them. It is called Elf Cosmetics White Tapered Eyeshadow uh, Brush. White Tapered Brush. So yeah, this is how it looks like. And I'm very curious about the performance of such brush. We're going to see, we are going to test it out. So what I'm going to do now, I am going to un un unpack it. And there it is, the brush. Very nice, perfect for the task that I'm looking for, that I'm looking for. <laughs> so from this eyeshadow uh, palette, I'm going to, the, the intergalactic, I'm just going to take the white matte. And I am going to set the cream. Cool. Good. It's set. It looks nice. Good. Love that. I love that base. Because now on that white base, you can... And the brush? Very nice brush, actually. Very nice. It applies the products very nicely. I might... And the vest more and the elf brushes. I like it. I like it a lot. So what I'm trying to say now, when you have that kind of a beautiful white base, on that base you can do lot all, all sorts of magic. And this is where I what I'm going for. <laughs> and this is where where we're going to continue. So now I'm going to take this eyeshadow, which is so bright now, and I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to take this gold. And we'll see how this gold is going to look on my eyelid. I took a lot. And I'm going to apply it in my inner part of my eye. Okay, this eyeshadow is pretty, but it is a little bit resistible, should I say. But it is... Well, resistible, because maybe I shouldn't have put that white eyeshadow and put it directly on the wet cream eyeshadow. So it has some problems with, with attaching to, to the surface. Okay. I like it so far what I see. Nice, nice, although, as I said, it does have some problems with attaching to um, to the surface. There is really a, bit, a lot of fallout in over here. Good, and now what I am going to do, I have some choice, but I to make that choice, I need to make swatches. From the palette so bright now is this one. Allow me to take, to make a swatch. Very pretty, very, very pretty. But then from the palette Intergalactic, I have something similar, but let's see how similar it is. Okay. They're very similar. They're very similar. So that means that I am not going to use this one from the So Bright now, but I'm going to jump into the Intergalactic and I'm going to use this blue on my finger. <laughs> help, help, um, I'm, I'm very swatched. <laughs> I am absolutely very swatched right now. So yeah, I'm gonna take this blue on my finger and try to attack, try to use it here in the inner part. Okay. Wow, okay, guys. Guys, this is, the eye look is coming together. 
I am not even kidding. There is a little bit of a play, definitely, with the eyeshadows, but it is possible to work this out. Like it. Oh, so like it. I definitely I like it a lot. Wow, okay, cool. And now the last bit, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this blue right over here and take this on my finger and apply this blue in the outer corner of my eye. Because they're kind of sparkly, so I I don't I don't think that they would transfer very well to the brush. Okay. Nice. Good. I think we have it. I don't think that I need to explore a lot. I definitely made a lot of mess right over here. So guys, allow me to clean this and I'll come back with the finished look. All right, guys. So as you can see, things has happened has happened on my on my eyelids. And this is the, the eye look that I can consider as finished right over here. And very nice blend of the eyeshadows with a cream eyeshadow, a little bit of a sparkle. And this is how it looks like. The quality is not mind blowing. I'll be totally honest with you. But if you have time and if you want to play with shadows, you can definitely make it work out. Of course, you know, there are plenty of options. You can go pretty, uh, pretty nude in here, you know, with these eyeshadows. But um, I like colors. I like colors and I went with colors. So this is how it looks like. And I think it is quite pretty. Anyway, as you can see, the second eye, something has already happened, which is the same thing that has happened uh, in here. Meaning, from the palette so bright, the blue in the inner par part, then the green in the middle part, and then the, the, the darker green in the outer part. So right now, something is, is missing right over here on my eyelid. What is missing? I actually want, I'm very curious and I want to check this out. This eyeshadow, guys, which is the liquid glitter eyeshadow in the shade Mermaid Shimmy. Um, I need to open this up. It's getting messy here on my desk, as always, guys. It's getting pretty messy. Anyway, I'm going to open this. And it's very funny because if you look at the box, you can see, okay, it's, it's there's a lot. No, there isn't. There isn't. There is a trick to this box because this, this bottle is actually elevated and the real eyeshadow is that tiny. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> you know, a, a detail. Anyway, I want to take this eyeshadow. All right. It looks like this with a dofer and put this now on my eyelid. Do something similar like a something like a mini cut crease, but uh, I'm not going to cut my crease. And yeah, okay. Something is happening. The product is applying. I can't fully open my eyelids. Okay, but it looks like the liquid eyeshadow doesn't want to work with the with the um, with the powder eyeshadow. I can see it instantly. Let's blend this. Okay. Hmm. All right, it's not overwhelming. It's definitely not overwhelming. We might have to use something after. One more layer. No, it won't help. Okay. Um, no, it won't help because it's kind of like lifting whatever lies underneath. So I'm just trying, I'll try to do all my best blending what I can blend, but when it comes to the real sparkle and the real glitter, 
there's not a lot of it okay so i'll be back in just a second because i need to let this dry and then we'll continue with this episode <laughs> All right, guys, so the few minutes has passed, and for me, the liquid glitter eyeshadow is a little bit of a pass, a little bit a lot. Um, the problem is that, look, when I'm swatching it, it looks like, I don't know, the glitter is kind of separating from the formula, and then when I blend it, it disappears, it stays on my finger when I blend, blend it. So, and then as a result of my eyelids is this one. There is a hole, there's nothing that is happening in here. When I want to have a green glitter eyeshadow, I want my eyelid to be covered and it's not happening and it's patchy. So for me, okay, it's good that I at least try one of the formula. For me, this is, this is going to be the pass. This is not what I'm expecting on my eyelids, but no problem. We're going to mend this. We're going to repair this. So what I'm going to take, I'm going to take this gold once again, take it on my finger and apply it in the inner part of my eye. Just like so. But look at the difference. When you have a white base, there is that pop of color. When you don't have any white base and you apply the same eyeshadow, this is, it looks almost like it's not the same eyeshadow, to be honest. But it's working. It is definitely working. Good. Okay. Now in the middle part, what I am going to do, I'm going to change the palettes. And in the middle part of my eye, I'm going to use this blue over here. Uh -huh. Everything is blending, everything is kind of connecting, but there's definitely some, some play. You know, you need to play with these eyeshadows to make it work. Good. Maybe a different base or whatever and whatnot. Good. Everything is all coming back to me now. <laughs> and then, guys, this blue, this dark blue. In the outer part. There is a lot of mess in here. I will have to clean a lot after and fix, but don't worry, I'll do that. I don't know if it's the fallout or is it like, what is happening? <laughs> what is happening? Ah, luckily I'm not doing ma makeup on any model right now because that would be disastrous. That would be <laughs> disastrous. Okay, guys, I suppose we got it. What we wanted to have right now, allow me to do some fixes, final touches, because obviously I can't continue the test like this and I'll be back and we'll continue with this episode. All right, guys, and so here we are back with, I think, finished eye look. Um, and this is the result. This is how it looks like. And once again, I can definitely tell that there is a little bit of a difference when you layer the colors on the white base. There is a much more better punch of color in comparison if you're not going to have a white base. We tried to save this because the, the glitter eyeshadow it ruined a little bit. So, you know, there has been some surprises, but that's okay. This is how the glitter eyeshadow, this one looks like when it's dry. It's not a lot. As you can see, there is a little bit of a sparkle, but it's almost translucent, demi-transparent. There is a little bit of a green, but not a lot. Maybe it's some sort of a one done, one and done eyeshadow maybe, but for me, it is underwhelming. On the other hand, the palettes, they perform really very nice. They're very happy, very nice. The only thing color shade that I miss, because as you can see, there's like one, two, three, four shades that are almost similar, the same. I wish there would be yellow. If there would be yellow, then the yellow would be very nicely combined. You could combine with a blue and with a green, 
and the transition between the shades would be much much better there's too much of the uh, of this kind of shade um uh, eyeshadows in my opinion there should be one yellow right over here nonetheless because i talk and i talk this is how it looks like i mean i wanted to have some sort of a fun color i want to have some sort of a fun um makeup look and i achieved it it looked a little bit like mermaid i have a blue eyes so i like combining blue with greens i just miss yellow <laughs> i'm just repeating myself and yeah but then again you know because i've seen some tests and usually when people are testing they're testing these four from this palette or this te they testing these as if the other side of the palette would not exist and that's the whole magic, these kind of shades. They're very, very, they're so much fun. So yeah, you, you have options, you have options, considering that each one of them is like 10 euros, you know, it's cool. They made some problems, but the final look is actually very nice. Good, let's go now into, so the part of E, eyes is done. Now let's do the part of L, lips. And uh, this is the product that I have for you, as you can see right over here. And what it is called, Hydrating Core Lip Shine, as you can see right over here. And then it has some name. What's your name, baby? <laughs> Joyful. Okay, this is the Joyful. This is how the product looks like. And... If this that type of a I don't know a lipstick balm something that I am going for quite often. Um, I am not a very big fan of lipsticks. I definitely love a lot of lip glosses, lip balms, and this is a little bit maybe of a hybrid between the lipstick and the lip balm. As you can see, it is very nicely packed, protected right over here. So it is time now to ruin this. And try to open. You see the elf, the packaging is a minimalistic, but still I consider as, as really very nice. Boom, good. There you go. And when I'm going to, uh, when I'm opening, as you can see, there is that core in the form of a heart. Just how cute it is that. Wow. Okay, and let's 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 see how my lips are going to enjoy that or not. <laughs> let's have a look. It's a test, guys. It's a test. Okay, something is happening. Hmm. Allow me to do the swatch because I'm very curious. Okay, there is a subtle uh, color. It is it is happening. Okay, allow me to. Uh. Mm -hmm. It tastes a little bit like a watermelon. Nice. Okay, cool. Very nice. I would call it definitely. I would call it some sort of a hybrid product when lipstick meets with a with a lip balm. As you can see, there is a very nice shade. It transfers very nice to my lips. My lips feel nourished, but like not a super over punchy color. It's cool. It's nice. Okay, good. Um, good. Allow me now to jump into the most important part, which is F, face. And we have lots of things that we can use on our face. And the first product that I would like to talk about would be this one, guys, the sunscreen. The sun protection is definitely very important in our lives. So uh, back in the past, there was already the one that was glowy. And now it, they came with a version that is non-glowy matte. What I like about this product actually, and what actually tickled my pickle, which I found really very interesting, is that it is a combination of the makeup primer with a sun protection which means if you are preparing yourself to do makeup you don't have to split these steps into separate 
Sin Skin Care separate sunscreen and separate primer because you have like all in one. Of course, the skincare is very important, but then when going to the next step, you can just use this and this will be a combination of the sunscreen with a primer, which is actually very cool. So as I've said, one of them is SPF 30 um, that is uh, glowy and one of them is SPF 30 that is matte. So let's quickly talk about the one that is glowy. As you can see, this is the product and it's called Sun Touchable Hoa Glow Ecla Wow <laughs> 30 SPF Sunscreen Sun Protection Plus Makeup Primer. This is how the product looks like. We're talking about the 50 milliliters of the product. And uh, when it comes to uh, the main highlights of this pro uh, of this of this product, it is it, it is saying that it has uh, aloe vera, it has hyaluronic acid, and it has a squalane, and it's considered and recommended for dry, normal, oily combination skin, which basically is called it's uh, recommended for all types of the skin, which is very good, which is actually very good. So I am going to open this now, take it out of the box, and this is how the product looks like, the version Glow. But let's jump into newer version now. This is SPF 30 as well, and it's called Sun Touchable Invisible Sunscreen SPF 30 sun protection plus blurring primer water resistant up to 80 minutes this is how the product looks like and again 50 milliliters of the product the product itself claims that um, it has a meadow foam seed oil and aloe vera and it's considered for dry normal oily combination skin which uh, for basically for all types of the skin. So it is time to unbox it now. And there we have the product itself. So if you would like to compare the, bottle, the bottles, the version glow is, has, is yellow and the version that is non-glow is has silver. Both of them, they have the same protection SPF 30. So what I am actually going to do, because I already do have a skincare, I'm going to apply one on one side and second on the second side, and we'll see how it is going to look like. Allow me to take the first version, which is the glow. Is it already open? No, it is protected, which is really very cool. That means that you can take off the protection, just like so. And then take the product and apply it on my face. As you can see, it looks like as if it would be tinted, but do not be afraid because once blended, you're going to see the result. Good. I'm going to apply it just like so, the sunscreen. And I, what I like about this kind of like tint is that it is not whitening because some of the filters that you are putting on your face, they're just whitening, you know? And here, nothing of such is happening. It blends with your skin and it gives you a beautiful glow and moisture. And I'll be honest with you, I have I was using this product because I got it as a sample and I tortured this product enormously. As you can see, the, the tube, I squeezed it to the very last drop and I absolutely loved it to use it underneath makeup because it gave me moisture, it gave me protection, it gave me glow, it gave me everything what I was looking for. Good. So I know this product a, a little bit. And allow me to approach. Can you see the glow? The glow comes from the sunscreen. 
and this is how it looks like. So if you are going to put some sort of a foundation on top of that, it's going to, the foundation is going to be glowy as well and very radiant. It's going to give a little bit of a life to this foundation, which is very cool. And I can definitely confirm that this sunscreen is really very good as a primer as well. It is moisturizing and this, the makeup on top of it is going to look very nice, which we are going to find out in today's test. This is how the skin looks like normally without anything. And this is how it looks like with a primer. Wonderful, lovely, good. So that would be the version glow. Now I'm going to take the version that is new and we're going to see and we're going to have a comparison side by side. Again, it's protected as you can see. Time to release the, the seal. Good. All right. You got this. Close the hatch. <laughs> Good. So this is the, the new version that is supposed to be matte. And all right. As you can see, the consistency is completely different. Allow me to show you the, the previous one. See, that's the glow right over here. And that's the new one, the invisible one. All right. Um, need to wipe this out now. A little bit of a product waste <laughs> for the sake of this test. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Okay. What is happening? Wow. I mean, <laughs> because you don't know uh, probably why am I wowing? There is some sort of a super slick, smooth, silicone consistency. It's almost like, I don't know, like putting some sort of a butter on your face is that kind of a, non, not greasy, but at the same time slick, very strange. Oh my gosh, I haven't had a product like this in a very long time. And at the same time, it is very efficient. Those that I squeezed, um, it's more than enough and it is blurring guys. It is absolutely blurring. Okay. <laughs> what a surprise. It's almost like greasy in touch, but it's not really greasy. If you had, um, um, any chance to try, for example, a super silicone type of the, of the primers, this is that type of a primer, very interesting, and it does blur. It really does blur. I'm like, <laughs> okay, a very interesting product. So this is how the product looks like from the close up. Wow. Okay. And this is the comparison. So you can definitely see a glowy side that is completely different with the matte side. I might be a little bit ahead of my thoughts, but um, I guess for the makeup, I think it's pretty cool to have a glowy side, but like for the everyday use without makeup, that kind of a blurring a sunscreen as a protection is a go, is a go. Allow me to approach once again so that you can see it in 4K, guys. In the comparison, it looks nice. It looks pretty, although I have an impression that definitely the matte side, the non-glowy side is much more blurring. Of course, there's my, my pores are not canceled. They will never will, but it's kind of like the texture is calm. The texture is smooth. The texture is blurred which is actually very cool because right now we're going to continue this test with a most famous primer, which is the Putty Primer. <laughs> All right, guys. So as I've mentioned, it is time now to start uh, testing the, the, the Putty Primer, the most interesting and the most famous Putty Primer. And mine, uh, I always had it. And I suppose um, people in the makeup industry 
most of the people that they know it basically and they have been using it and look at mine usage you can pretty see we've we've liked each other there was a moment that we liked each other but i suppose at this time of the year when it's summer and it's hot this balmy texture is a little bit a lot for my skin you know it's, it's hot it's warm we're sweating so um it is a little bit a lot so when they announced a new version which is a liquid Paulus Booty Primer, which is supposed to be super lightweight. I was like, okay, let's give it a go and let's give it a try. So there you have it, guys. We have a Elf Liquid Paulus uh, Booty Primer. This is how the product looks like. And we're talking about the 28 milliliters of the product. It's supposed to be silky, whiteless feel and it's supposed to uh, be a liquid formula and mixed a little bit with a skincare um which is uh, in the form of the squalane good let's let's open this up and see how it is going to perform on my face Okay, and it comes in that type of a tube. Very nice, very pretty. It gives me a little bit of impression when it comes to packaging to Smashbox. I suppose they had all those kind of like poor blurring primers back in the past in such tubes. Or yeah, I think so. Anyway, it is liquidy, guys. Yes, it is definitely liquidy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the classic one, take a little bit on my finger, and yes, this is what I've said, it is balmy, and put this in a place where I would like to blur my, my pores and texture. So right now we are going to, um, to calm down a little bit of that glow that came from the sunscreen, but that's okay. And a little bit here on my forehead as well. So yeah, um, you know, it's a classic, I suppose. I definitely can feel the moisture that comes from the original putty uh, primer. It is, um, it is slightly blurring and slightly smoothing. And what I actually like for the price that is proposing that the makeup layers very neat on top, uh, very nice, very neat, very nice on top of that. So yeah, this is how it looks like the classic poreless putty primer. In the, in the form of the balm. This is how it looks like on my face. This is how it looks on my pores. You can have your own judgment. Please do. I definitely don't want to influence your own judgment. I am just showing you how it looks like on my face. Good. So right now, allow me to wipe my hands because my hands are full of cosmetics. <laughs> and now I'm going to take this liquid poreless booty primer and see okay so this product was not protected just a little bit of a note and okay oh as you can see oh wow okay it's oh super lightweight okay i was not expecting to be that super it's almost like a serum yeah almost like a serum because <gasps> oh my gosh okay huh. how do they do that they're shocking me with their formula Elf, stop shocking with your formula. Oh, wow. It is silky smooth, guys. In touch. Wow. Okay. I suppose in summer, when it's very hot and we don't want to put too much on our face, such kind of a super lightweight formula might be the go. And again, it's blurring. Oh my gosh, okay. Whoa, it is blurring, guys. I am not even kidding. 
and what is actually very good as well because I already put some some skincare. I already had some essence. I already had some serums. I already had some face creams. And now I am layering. I layered the sunscreen. I'm layering now the primer and nothing is peeling off. This is amazing. How many times, guys, did you have that type of a problem? When, you, when you're good, you're good to go and you're starting the makeup and makeup is actually ruining everything that you put underneath. And you're just like, no, I don't have time. I need to start this again. But anyway, I digress, guys. I digress. Allow me to approach. This side is the uh, e.l.f. Poreless Puddy Primer, the classic. And this one is the new one, which is the liquid putty primer. I definitely can feel and can sense some sort of a smoothing that is happening on my face. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Wow. Okay. And this is something that needs to be said about the e.l.f. E.l.f. makeup, they're just like gushing out so many new launches. But these launches, they're good. The, the products are good. They're working and they're super affordable. How they do that, I don't know. But, oh my gosh. You can definitely see the glowing side and you can definitely see a mattifying side. It's up to you to decide which side do you like. Do you want to have a radiant face or do you want to have a mattifying face? Your ch this, and the choice is yours. Good. Another impressive so far product, how it is going to look like by the end of the day, how the makeup on top of that is going to look like by the end of the day, we're going to find out. But despite all the glow that I have already, I want some more. <laughs> so we are going to come back to these products, which is the Halo Glow, guys. I actually have three bottles, but in a second. Halo, Halo Glow Liquid Filter glow booster for radiant skin this is how the product looks like and for a while it this product became very viral because people thought or uh, people claimed that it is a dupe for the charlotte tilbury where are you you're always in front of me for charlotte tilbury flawless filter which is right over here. I don't have letters. The letters decided to leave me forever. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, and in my opinion, despite a very similar formulation and expanded in elf uh, product, this is not the dupe. This is not the same product. Why? Charlotte Tilbury consistency is thinner. Elf Cosmetic Consistency is thicker. What does it mean? This product is definitely easier to mix with the foundation, while this one, because of the thicker consistency, it's definitely better to use it as some sort of a glowing primer. That's my opinion. Second thing is, this has shade, but the tint is not actually going to be visible. This is actually going to melt with your skin and giving you a pretty glow. The tint in e.l.f., it is punchier, which means that if you are going to choose your, not your shade, the shade, it's going to peek through the foundation that has light to medium coverage. So if you are going to pick up e.l.f. with some sort of a shade that is going to be yellow, it might peek through your foundation and it might alter the final uh, finish of the foundation. That's why I have three shades because I was on the quest to find a good shade. I have shade number one and two and three. And today we are going to do the swatches to find out maybe I found my swatch, my, my perfect match because this is the new shade that I got. It's the shade number three. Good. So I'm going to take, do I need to shake it? I don't think so. This is thick, guys, this is thick. I'm going to put the, the swatch on my hand right over here so that we can have a comparison. 
the shade number one. I'm going to blend this. Oh yeah. I already forgot how tinted this is. This is really tinted. <laughs> it's much more tinted in comparison with a shallow silvery. Now I'm going to take the shade number two. Yeah, and the number two was already yellow. I remember when I put that and I had my beautiful cool tone um, foundation and I was just like one day put this and I was like, why my foundation is not so cool tone these days and it looks so yellow. What is happening with my foundation today? And that was it, basically. That was it. That was that Hello Glow uh, liquid filter. And now, okay, I'm going to open the, the shade number three. We got this, and now the shade number three. I am very curious how it is going to look like. Okay, a little bit pinkish. That might be a good solution. Good. All right, I think we have the shades. There you have it. Shade number one, neutral. We can say yellow neutral. Shade number two, warm tone in my opinion. And shade number three, cool tone. And this one melts the best with my skin. I was definitely not very sure which shade should I have. So I had the first two and they definitely peek through my foundation. They definitely alter the shade of my foundation. <laughs> Today I have the shade number three and this is the shade that I'm going to use underneath the foundation. By the way, it is pretty warm in here in the studio and I am already like, I'm, I'm getting hot. <laughs> it's a difficult day for to put the, the makeup on. Anyway, I digress. I'm going to put a little bit over here. The new shade, shade number three. And I'm going to blend this with this with a brush like this. Do we see any changements in my skin tone? I think I don't think so. I guess the th the shade number three might be finally my shade. But this is what I've said. Um, for me personally, the reason why it is not the dupe because it's a thicker formula. And it is punchier when it comes to the tint. It is very well tinted. Good. We might add a little bit more. But it, it gives me a very pretty glow. There is no doubt about that. I love it. As you can see, it looks very natural. It looks similar to Charlotte Tilbury, but just Charlotte Tilbury is just very subtle, beautiful. <laughs> this is a little bit like shebang. <laughs> Everyone has its own preference. So, you know, uh, I'm just trying to pass you my own information my own experience based while you know working with these products but um the glow it's definitely here good this is how it looks like guys okay very nice allow me to approach good so what do we have on my, on my face we have the glow sunscreen we have a classic elf poreless booty primer and we have elf in the shade number three and this is how it looks like. We're still priming our face before putting the makeup on. While on the other side, we have a matte uh, sunscreen. We have a poreless liquid primer. And then we have again, ELF Halo Glow Liquid Filter. And this is how it looks like. So if you would like to compare this side by side, this is how it looks like. Good guys, okay. So right now I would like to put a little bit of a foundation and the foundation that I would like to put would be the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. 
uh, because I haven't been using it for a while. And now I would I would like to use it with sponges. I suppose Elf is very famous for having sponges as well. And these are the sponges that I would like to use. And it is a Total Face Sponge Duo from Elf. This is how the product looks like. And yes, we're having uh, two sponges from Elf Cosmetics. I wonder how they're going to perform on my or on my face are they soft how do they expand while getting wet so let's just open them how do we open them i think here good and i'm going to take one of them <laughs> and guys i'll be back in just a second allow me just to wet the sponge and we'll try to apply the, the makeup all right guys so let's apply this makeup and just for a comparison this is the original that came out of the box and this is expanded so as you can see if you would like to compare them they definitely expand and this is a very interesting sponge which means that it's nice but it's not super soft and it's not super firm it's kind of bouncy it's very difficult to explain it's as if it would be something between firm and soft and creating a bouncy product. <laughs> I don't know how to. I don't know how to explain that. I don't know how to explain. Well, that was... <laughs> you just have to, <laughs> guys. You just you just have to believe me. It's bouncy. What does it mean for the sponge to be bouncy? Well, <laughs> it's between soft and firm. There you have it. <laughs> Good, guys. Let's continue. Let's continue with this test. By the way, I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but that was always my personal problem when it comes to glow, uh, uh, Elf Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Charlotte Tilbury melts with my skin. This doesn't melt. I mean, it melts, but can you see a little bit bronzy type of a cast? Or not a cast, a tint, should I say? And especially like in here, can you see it? I haven't put anything. I just put this, this um, Halo Glow and it's already peeking through as some sort of a bronze tint patch, should I say? And that was my own personal issue about this product that I think that this product is too much tinted. It is not supposed to be a foundation and still it mimics some sort of a face tint. It's up to you to decide. It's because I, for me, I think the design was to make it this product as some sort of a primer and some sort of a glowing filter. And for me, it is already almost a very glowy face tint and I can see it. I can definitely see the tint peeking through. Three shades, three bottles, and still I haven't found my shade. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. Anyway, good, let's apply the makeup. So I'm going to take the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and mine is in the shade 4.75. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take the palette, squeeze two pumps. I'm going to spread the foundation on the palette just like so. Put some over here and now I'm going to Take the clean beauty sponge from e.l.f. and take some from here and try to apply the makeup. Good. It is firm. Okay. The, the sponge is definitely firm. Um, I like this type of an ending, which means that it spreads foundation really very nicely, but it is firm. Not my type of a vibe, I suppose, when it comes to sponges. I definitely prefer sponges that are softer. This one is firm. I'm repeating myself, but hey, have I told you that this sponge is firm? <laughs> it is. It is. Okay, good. When I was, you know, uh, trying to wet this and an expander, okay, this is quite nice, but um, not my vibe. I definitely prefer softer sponges. Good. We got this. We got the foundation. 
Everything kind of blends all together. A little bit of a concealer, guys. Yves Saint Laurent Touche Cla High Cover Concealer, because why not? Quickly, just a little bit. Right over here. To give myself a little bit of a brightening in my under eye area and a little bit of a concealer. You always need to give yourself a little bit of a time to blend that concealer in your under eye area for the best results. If you're in a hurry and you're gonna like whoosh, swoosh, swoosh, that might not work out. This formulation is very unique. This formulation definitely requires some time to blend it. Very nice, as you can see. Can you see the difference in the under eye area? Good, time to lock it. There you go, good. All right, guys, I think that the concealer is very nicely blended. Yes, it looks nice. And now I just need some color. I just need some color. So what I am going to do, I'm going to cheat a little bit and uh, take some sort of a blush. I am not going to apply the the putty blush from e.l.f. I do not, I am not a very big fan of that blushes. So I'm going to cheat a little bit and take the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Blush and apply this to my cheek to add myself a little bit of a shade and a little bit of a color. Oh yes, this is it. This is it, this is it. Can you see how my face is coming to life? This is by the Shea Charlotte Tilbury uh, Pink Pop, one of the latest. Very pretty. I like to layer it subtle, to be honest. A little bit of a no on the nose because it's summer. So, you know, we want to have that kind of an impression that we have a burnt nose. Yes. Oh my gosh, guys, my desk right over here is a mess. <laughs> my desk is a mess and I'm just like, oh, hot, hot, hot. <laughs> anyway, I digress, guys, I digress. Now, allow me to approach so that I can show you how this makeup looks like in a full glory. Eyes, lips, and face, everything is done. Drugstore, guys, drugstore. So allow me to approach and show you how everything looks like from the close-up. I think it looks really very nice. It is blurred, it is moistured, it is glowy where it's supposed to be glowy. Really very nice. So that's the first side with the Paula's Booty Primer, with the uh, glowy sunscreen and with a uh, Elf Halo Glow. And that's rather more the mattifying side with a, uh, with a liquid Paula's uh, Booty Primer, with the mattifying sunscreen and with an Elf Halo Glow. Side by side, and these are the eyeshadows and the lips. The lips already, um, the lip balm has already been kind of like inhaled by my, by my lips. So we can reapply this. Good. Guys, this is how the makeup looks like. The affordable makeup from e.l.f. Cosmetics. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What is your opinion? Your opinion matters most. By all means, I am not trying to influence your own opinion. Your opinion is the most important. This is only me sharing my own personal experience while working with these products and passing you as much information as I can, as I can, as I can about that experience. Good guys, 
So allow me now to take you on a walk. Let's have a look at this makeup in the natural light. And then let's come back and have a final check-in and final thoughts about all of these products. Hello, gorgeous, beautiful stars. <laughs> Paris Star Channel here welcomes you with this check-in in the natural light. So, you know, that we can have a look how this makeup is going to look like from Elf Cosmetics after hours of wearing it. So, as you can see, there is a beautiful weather, beautiful light. So, you know, let's take the advantage of that. And this is how this makeup is looking after hours of wearing and especially the eyeshadows a very colorful festival look i love that <laughs> who wants to have boring eyeshadows if you can have a beautiful and colorful so absolutely love that and the whole makeup it's staying in place it doesn't really go anywhere anything everything stays in place and i love it and this is how it looks like everything in its natural light so yes guys that would be all when it comes to this check-in and a beautiful natural light and right now let's go back to the studio for a final check-in and my final thoughts based on my experience while working with the products from elf cosmetics Hello gorgeous beautiful stars, <laughs> Paris Star Channel here in the studio back with my final check-in and guys, <laughs> ah, does it surprise anyone that is after midnight, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, so yes, without any further addition or whatnot, let's just start with this final check-in and my final thoughts about the products from elf cosmetics and i suppose i spend a lot of time thinking how should i judge and what kind of judgment should i give to uh these products because it's like there is a person that stays in five star hotels and will just for once visits the three star hotel and tries to find himself in that kind of a reality you know and it's the same thing when it comes to the judgment of the elf cosmetics there's just a certain point when you know when it comes to the quality and the performance um you just just i probably can't get any better should i say but um i digress allow me to explain everything so elf cosmetics i lips and face let's first start with the eyes so this is guys the eye makeup i mean <laughs> i can't be mad how it looks like after 10 hours of wearing oh my gosh i'm actually a very positively surprised and this is how it looks like on my eyes a very beautiful power powerful and punchy colors love that so when it comes to these palettes, the palettes, 10 eyeshadows for 10 euros, 10 dollars, depends what kind of currency are you using, Paris Star Channel gives a green light to these palettes. But, but, if you were, you would be expecting that it's going to be a super easy one and done eyeshadows, forget it, okay? In order to make it looking like this, you have to make an effort. You have to make it work out for you, if that makes sense. There is a lot of adding. There is a lot of blending. There is a lot of play that has to be involved. You have to involve yourself, engage yourself to make this palette look like this. If you're going to do it, the effect is going to be like that. But if you are a person that rather is looking for the palette one and done eyeshadow, just a swoop, massive pigmentation and whatnot, these palettes are not like that. If you're going to make an effort, you can definitely squeeze out a lot out of them. And this is, guys, how it looks like. For me personally, despite the, the effort that I had to put, I can't be mad how it looks like. I mean, <laughs> I can't be mad. It looks beautiful. It looks gorgeous. And after 10 hours, on top of that, on that white base in here, the colors, 
very beautiful and very punchy. So yes, Paris Star Channel gives a green light to these eyeshadow palettes from Elf Cosmetics. When it comes to the another formulation too, when it comes to eyeshadows, mean, meaning when it comes to the cream, very interesting cream. I put it on my eyelid right over here. Oh my gosh, it sets so quickly. And then I was able to put um, other eyeshadows and everything has combined wonderfully. So the only thing is I suppose that I have issues. You have to work with this very quickly, very fast because it sets really very fast. This is a product that needs to be, uh, require further exploration from my side. But as for this moment when I'm making this episode, I haven't encountered any kind of a problem. So for me personally, Paris Star Channel gives a green light to the cream eyeshadows from e.l.f. Cosmetics. And then the third product, this one. Uh, 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 uh. I mean, uh, no. I mean, uh, this this did not personally work out for me. This neither has glitter, neither has some color. It's just every single time I was putting it on my eyelid, it was lifting anything that I was already on my eyelid. And it was getting worse and worse and worse to the point when I had to stop applying it. And there is no color, there is no glitter, there is nothing that would be satisfying for me and make steal my heart. So then I had to fix this on, on this eye and that was the, the final result. So this is the only product on this test where I have to say with, uh, you know, with a broken heart actually, because I don't want to have such kind of a product to test and I don't like to have such kind of a judgment, but it has to be a judgment. Paris Star Channel gives a red light to the liquid glitter eyeshadow. It did not work out for me. It did not have a pigment. It did not have a glitter and everything that was layered on my eyelids was just lifting up and it just didn't want to blend. So that is my own personal opinion. So that would be all when it comes to eyes once again. Oh my gosh, does this look good or what? <laughs> and then let's go to L, lips in the form of this wonderful lipstick and the balm. Guys. Mm. A very nice balm in a taste of the watermelon. Very interesting. It gives me moisture. It gives me a very beautiful color. And then I can amplify it if I would like to with a lip gloss. It's going to give an even more um, of the glow. And for me personally, I think for this price, you, you can't go wrong with this. For me, I really like it. I really enjoy it. So Paris Star Channel gives a green light to the hydrating core lip shine. Um, lipstick and balm. I think it's a very interesting product. And then let's go to face. First, let's start with the tools. First thing, the the, um, the brush. I think that these brushes with the white handle, they're actually very interesting. The quality is very nice. They apply eyeshadow really very nice and I'm intrigued and I want to explore more. This particular bra brush, which is the white tapered eyeshadow brush, uh, it's getting a green light from me. Paris Star Channel gives a green light to this eyeshadow brush, I think. There's a, it's a very nice brush, guys. It's a very nice brush. And then when it comes to the sponges from Elf Cosmetics, I mean, I've said it several times and I'm going to repeat myself. The Elf, the Elf Camo Sponge is one of the best sponges. But this, this is firm. This sponge is too firm as, and it is too bouncy. For me personally, Paris Star Channel gives an orange light to these sponges because they're not bad, but they're not wonderful. They do their job, but they're not overwhelming. They're really very bouncy. They're really very firm. And for my personal taste, they're too firm and too bouncy. So that is why Paris Star Channel gives an orange light to these sponges. And then, Let's continue with the face, guys. Let's continue with the face. 
So the first would be the sunscreens in a version of the glow and in the version of the matte. Guys, Paris Star Channel gives a green light to these the sunscreens. They're absolutely wonderful and amazing. The combination hybrid of the primer and the protection in the form of the sunscreen is incredible. This, the glowy side, works perfectly for makeup. It gives you an extra glow that peeks through the foundation, giving you this kind of a lovely glow. I love it. I absolutely love it. Paris Star Channel gives a green light to the Sun Touchable Hoa Glow Eclat Wow uh, SPF 30. The only issue that I have, I wish it would be SPF 50 instead of the 30. Nonetheless, it works for me. And oh my gosh, does this make that look good or what? And then the other one on the other side was the matte version and then SPF 30 as well. And I wish it would be SPF 50 as well, but it is what it is, it doesn't matter. And it is Sun Touchable Invisible Sunscreen um, SPF 30. Paris Star Channel gives a green light to this product. It's a wonderful product. So I suppose this one is perfect for as a primer uh, before makeup. And this one, because it's matte and it's actually smoothing, it's very good for a daily use. On top of that, the texture and the formulation, it is so unique so unique that I was so shook. I mean, it's kind of like buttery smooth, but at the same time, it's kind of moisturizing and mattifying and blurring and smoothing at the same time. If you can, I definitely encourage you to, to try it out. Try it out the formulation. You might be very shook how this formulation uh, feels uh, in your hands. Absolutely incredible. So once again, when it comes to the sunscreen, it doesn't really matter. Is it glowy? Is it matte? They're both perform very good, very nice and very beautiful. And this is how my makeup looks like after more than 10 hours. So for me personally, Paris Star Channel gives a green light to the sunscreens from e.l.f. Glowy or matte, it's your own personal preference. And then when it comes to the primer, of course, the Poreless Putty Primer is an absolute classic and it works and it helps me to extend the longevity of my makeup. I love it. So for me personally, Paris Star Channel gives a green light to the classic Poreless Putty Primer. But this, <laughs> this, oh my gosh, guys, this formulation blows my mind. It is so lightweight, but at the same time, it is smoothing, it is blurring, it is moisturizing, it does everything and it really does extend the longevity of your makeup. Nothing actually happened in here. I am shook. And I suppose in this, in these days when we have summer and it's very hot and sweaty and humid and whatnot, we might not want to layer something that is so thick and balmy and we might actually choose to put something that is super lightweight. So I am so happy that this primer has surfaced because it's super lightweight, but it does its job enormously well while blurring, while smoothing, while moisturizing and being a super lightweight. So for the summer season, absolutely wonderful. And then just like forever. <laughs> for me, if you like something that is definitely richer and the cost consistency, the balm is the go. But if you like something that is super lightweight and has all the features of the old one on a steroid, <laughs> should I say, the liquid, uh, Paula's Putty Primer is a go. Paris Star Channel gives a, a green light to the liquid Paula's Putty Primer. Good. And then let's go to the final product, which would be the liquid uh, uh, Elf Halo Glow Liquid Filter. We don't love each other, but allow me to explain. Allow me to explain because 
And my biggest personal problem is that it's tinted. It is tinted, this product. And despite the fact that I found uh, that I bought three bottles, one, two, and three, I can still see a tint peeking through the foundation. And I don't want that because when I'm using a liquid glow filter, I just want to have glow. I don't want to have tint that is peeking through the foundation. And these products, no matter what I'm gonna do, how I am going to blend, they are always going to have a tint that is going to peek through the foundation. And that is my own personal issue with this. So for me personally, and that is my own personal Opinion Paris Star Channel gives an orange light to the Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I just wished it would just give me a glow without a tint. And it looks like after testing it in many different ways, I can't do it. Always gives me a tint. For example, Charlotte Tilbury never gives me a tint. It just melts with my skin while giving a super beautiful subtle glow. This one always le leaves a tint. But I suppose I'm repeating myself. I guess you get the picture. So for me personally, Paris Star Channel gives an orange light to these products. By all means, they're not bad, but they're just not for me. So yes, guys. And then in the end, if someone would have asked me the highlights of this test, what kind of products I think for me personally are the best, Allow me to tell you, the first product is the sunscreen, version glow or version matte, a beautiful makeup primers that are at the same time a hybrid product. It protects your skin and moistures your skin and it extends the longevity of your makeup. I love it. And then the second or third product, should I actually say, the highlight would be this one, the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. Oh my gosh, so lightweight and yet so punchy and so effective how it works. It is incredible. And on top of that, if you are going to connect and combine the matte uh, sunscreen with the matte super liquid uh, putty primer, <laughs> you will be shook. I think you might be actually shook how it looks like. So for me, the highlights of this test would be the two sunscreen in a version matte or glow and the liquid poreless putty primer. And once again, allow me to approach so that you can see the, this makeup in a full glory in, in a close up, the glow, and then the matte, although it's not fully matte, although, you know, after 10 hours, more than 10 hours of wear, you can definitely expect that some, some of the luminosity is going to peek through my, my skin. So yes, guys, that would be all when it comes to this test, a very exciting test of the affordable drugstore brand that is Elf Cosmetics. Time to wrap this up. So guys, thank you so very much for watching. Thank you so very much for tuning in and celebrating with me diversity. Diversity makes us all different, gorgeous and beautiful. It's time to say goodbye. So guys, from Paris with love, I'm sending you a warm greetings. Mwah. About us for now. Bye-bye now.